So along with intensive production comes relatively intensive management of the crops within the high tunnels. Again, keep in mind this is your most valuable real estate on the farm. And so it's important to not let it go by the wayside and to make sure you're managing it well. One of the things that you're gonna to have to do daily is to manage those sidewalls in order to let ventilation in. And early in the spring, you're gonna to have to close them at night. Now the typical rule of thumb for warm season crops is if it gets colder than 55 degrees Fahrenheit at night, then you wanna close that sidewall all the way and keep it buttoned up to help retain the warmth at nighttime. However, it's really important to keep in mind that once the sun comes up, it's going to heat up very, very rapidly within that high tunnel. So it's really important to get outside and get the tunnel ventilated in order to let that heat escape early in the morning and maintain a good 80 to 85 degree temperature for your warm season crops. For the cool season crops, it's really, really important to ventilate in order to make sure it doesn't get too hot inside. But as far as what temperatures to close it at, it's sort of a little bit of a black box as to what the actual temperature should be. For something like lettuce or broccoli or other cool season crops, I would probably close the tunnel when it's around 40 degrees at night, but they like a little bit of cool nighttime temperatures on them, so don't be afraid to leave it open a little bit during the evenings. There are a number of important considerations concerning labor to think about for high tunnels. One of the things is that you're extending your season in 30 days in both directions. And so you're not necessarily just doing the bulk of your work during the summer, you're actually extending the season and therefore extending the, the time that you need large quantities of labor in terms of harvesting and planting, those kinds of things. The other thing to consider is that the crops grow very vigorously inside of the high tunnel and you have to have the people to keep up with them. Most growers find that high tunnels on a square foot basis require much, much more labor than the open field, simply because you're planting them denser, you're trying to maintain high crop productivity, and the plants also grow very fast, very vigorously. Weeds also grow very fast and very vigorously within the high tunnel. So it's important to take a number of proactive steps in terms of using fabric or biodegradable mulches in order to keep the weeds down and also maintaining the weeds in between the rows and those kinds of things because they can quickly take over a tunnel if you're not careful. One of the advantages in terms of labor with a high tunnel is you can actually maintain better scheduling of your labor in order to plant crops and to harvest crops. Because you don't have rain inside of the high tunnel it allows you more time to work and allows you to follow a schedule much much better than you can in the spring. For open field planting, oftentimes we'll get heavy rains in the spring and so we can't work the soil and prepare it for planting. Whereas in the high tunnel, we can either put the plastic on or in the case of a four season high tunnel, it's on already and so the soil is ready to be prepped and planted any time of the year. Now it's always important to keep things safe and you don't want your labor crew working in the high tunnel when there's lightning because that could be potentially a dangerous situation. But if it's just misting or raining a little bit outside, there's no reason you can't get out and work inside of the high tunnel. So as you make your labor decisions and think about how the course of the season is gonna go, it's important to keep in mind that that high tunnel is gonna have a higher labor requirement and incorporate that into your whole farm labor management system.